I moved to the Netherlands at the beginning of 2022. After spending three years living in the south of Germany filled with new friends and incredible experiences, I was ready for a new adventure to begin. But shortly after arriving, I learned that this chapter wouldn't feel the same. The Netherlands has not been what I expected. I think it's just been a much harder transition than I expected. I've been kind of sad a lot of the time. I really struggled to connect to my new environment and the people in it, quickly sending me into a downward spiral. And in 2023, I felt the lowest that I had in my entire life. My mental and physical health plummeted, and I could barely function with all of the anxiety in my body. So I knew that I had to make a change, and I moved to Berlin. Since then, I felt like a completely different person, and now I want to take you guys back to the Netherlands with me with new eyes. Good morning, guys. It's my first morning back in the Netherlands, and this already feels like... It feels so different. <laughs> I did a meditation with Aura last night before going to bed. I just listened to, like, river soundscapes and, like, forests at night. And I literally... <laughs> I slept so well. <laughs> That's so rare for me. I'm staying in my brother's old room. Um, which, what the fuck? I was, like, never in here when I lived in this house. And, uh... I should have been. And I think just the different environment, the different plans, the different person that I am now are all going to contribute to a very different experience here. And it's one that I'm really looking forward to. And uh, I'm excited to see you guys with me. I wanted to start this trip off on the right foot, so I decided to go to one of my favorite places. Back in my favorite cafe is the Bookstore Cafe here in Den Haag. And I'm out in the pavilion, which is very nice, I have to say. And I'm meeting my friend from Sweden, who's says, oh my god! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Shit! Yay! That is Namaste, dear beloved. I welcome you to this short talk. He told the charioteer that if everything is impermanent, I will search for what is permanent. He then left his farm. Okay, let's get real. I struggled so much when I lived in the Netherlands. I don't know how much of that was actually based on me living here and how much was just internal journeys I went on. But for the first time in my life, I experienced really intense panic attacks, heavy anxiety every single day, and some depression. And this affected me in so many ways, but specifically my sleep. I was convinced I had some sleep breathing disorder for months, and I even did medical tests to try and diagnose it. And it turns out I did not have a sleep breathing disorder. I had a panic disorder. <laughs> During this time, I really could not function. It completely derailed my life. I couldn't focus on school or work. I wasn't making plans with people. 
it took a lot of effort to even have a conversation. I had such a short fuse with people. I was so easily irritated. And I would just wake up exhausted. I was really, really not okay. For a while, it was just like hopeless. I just like didn't know what was going on in my body and I didn't feel safe or comfortable in my body. And I felt really, really terrified a lot of the time. But what I've learned, especially over the last year, is the importance of finding solutions and building healthy habits. And that's where today's sponsor, Aura, comes in. Now listen, this is not just a normal <laughs> sponsored piece of content. This is like weirdly a specific that when they reached out, I was like, wait a second, you're a what? You're a mindfulness app that focuses on sleep and anxiety? Like, hello? Aura is used by 7 million people and has won the Best of Apple Award. You guys have already seen me in this vlog doing some meditations and like soundscape experiences. They have a lot on here. I'm going to read it all. They got thousands of meditations, stories, CBT, life coaching, hypnosis, breath work, spirituality, it's just like a lot of variety and personalization. Definitely not a one size fits all kind of app. It's also not just an audio only app. There's like daily live sessions and celebrity masterclasses. I know now that when I'm in a really bad place, my solutions are spending less time on my screen and doom scrolling, spending time in nature, as well as mindfulness activities like the ones offered on Aura, especially around the topic of quality sleep because that affects Oh my god, sleep. Sleep affects so much more than you can imagine. Things like Aura have really been like a life raft for me when I just feel so out of control. I'm still in the water maybe. I'm still feeling a little anxious, but this has given me something to hold on to and something to make sure I won't drown in it. Because a year ago, girl, I was drowning in it. So I have a challenge for you guys. I'm gonna do it too. It's a 30 day meditation challenge to build a very life changing habit, mindfulness. I'm gonna try and meditate for 20 minutes each morning using Aura, which you can sign up for free on Aura's website using the link in my description and with my code. And the first 500 people that use my link get a free trial and then 25% off of Aura's subscription. So hurry up, go do it. And I'm just like endlessly grateful to things like Aura for changing my life. The whole idea of this video is coming back to a place that I had so many triggering experiences in. I just went through it here, dude. And now I can be back and be a happy person and see it with fresh eyes. So what I'm trying to say is, thank you, Aura. <laughs> Go sign up with my link in the description and be one of the first 500 people for a free trial and then 25% off. Okay, let's go. I spent the next few days in the forest trying to get used to the slower pace. I felt so overwhelmed by the city recently. Everything just feels so fast and I can't process anything that's happening around me. So I took this time to observe and admire the changes happening in nature and try to remind myself that change can be really beautiful. So like I, I had a coffee and then I went to the park with me. me. <laughs> yeah, when you're new to extra work because the extras casting director doesn't know your reputation yet. Mom looks perturbed at the news. Poor background. That just sound by umbrellas between takes and they get to sit down in foldable chairs to rest their feet and they get to sit in cold water bottles fresh and put in the cooler stick. filled with ice cubes. Hey guys, um, it's been a minute since I've actually sat down to vlog. You know, it's so weird to come back to your old life somewhere, because I lived in this house with these people for two years, and then I left and everything changed, and you 
experience so much, so much newness, a lot of change, growth, hopefully. You meet new people, you learn new things, you see new places, etc., etc., and then you come back and it's exactly the same. It's like untouched. Oh, I feel this way when I go back to the States too, to Colorado. And now here, it's just such a strange thing because it almost feels like it's like an illusion or a dream. I, <laughs> I have this irrational fear that when I leave Berlin to go on a trip or visit my family, I like think I'm going to come back to Berlin and like none of none of it's going to be there. None of my life is going to be there. Almost like a movie. Like you go to your unit and like the key doesn't work to the door and you're like, huh? And then you knock on the door and like someone else is living there and like all your stuff is gone. And then like you call your friends, but like they're not real. <laughs> like I know that sounds crazy, but it's more so just like I always get really sad to leave because I'm like, this is goodbye. Like it's a fucking goodbye. This is just the beginning. It does almost feel like an illusion because I go and I've created like this whole new life and identity basically. And then you come back here and it's like, it's it's like you're right, you're right back in it. Like nothing, nothing ever happened. Like that whole chapter never existed. It's so trippy. It is so trippy. But I guess maybe that's life. Maybe. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm trying to say with this. I'm just trying to say it. But anyway, I'm going to Amsterdam again tomorrow. So I am excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a really good day. And it's gonna be sunny. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. Oh, you bitches just wait. Oh, you bitches just wait. It's gonna be so fierce. Amsterdam in the sun in March? I better not jinx it. I guess you guys will find out. We're in Amsterdam. It's actually cute. Look at that. Kimchi toast. Hi guys. We <laughs> I'm so out of practice. We've hung out in a few other places, but I feel like this is the trademark. Yes. Flashback to 2021. We were just talking about it. So you were like the first person met yeah too. same i was joking earlier guys before my youtube break i filmed like four different vlogs when i saw iris and then i just like scrapped all of them i because never make the cut you never, you're in it you're the star of the show we're right. sitting in the sun the weather guys one thing that isn't full circle one thing that's very new is we always have the shittiest weather yeah the universe has blessed us it is March. My whole videos I've ever since I've come back is just me saying, the sun. Yeah. It's like people who live in a sunny place are probably like, there's no substance to this video. It felt like a super long winter, but at the same time, it wasn't that bad. But I can say that now. It's, that's always how I feel. Iris has left and so has the sun. But it is okay. I am not going to get drinks with my friend, Luca. I'm trying not to get hit by something in this fucking city. Bikes, cars, people, trams, buses, boats, dogs, scooters. Fucking overwhelming. No. plot twist. I leave early tomorrow morning and I don't want to leave. I don't think I want to leave. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, do I extend my train? I think there's a few reasons. The first is that I'm actually really enjoying my time here. I'm sleeping very well. And then it's been so sunny. <laughs> and also I just like don't want to pack and I should do my taxes today before I leave. And I have to like do shit that I want to do. I don't know. I'm going to change it. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm literally changing it one day. I just have a feeling it seems like something I should do. I don't know, maybe I'm being dramatic. But I want to say it in case the, I don't know, train tomorrow crashes, which it won't. I'm just fucking delusional. But we're going to stay. We're going to stay. Let's play that. And then, no, no, no. I'm going to bed now. I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling very happy with the decision. It just like feels right. It's also just really crazy to feel this way because I did not enjoy living here. So it's like, now I want to stay. Now I'm extending my trip. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello guys. I got some breakfast. I got a coffee. I'm so glad I stayed. I'm talking to birds. I can feel the breeze hitting my skin, but it's like a very nice spring breeze. It's gray, but not in the like disgusting way that Berlin is gray. It's like naturally gray. Um, I'm gonna watch something on my laptop on the bed like, oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm vibing. This, let me tell you guys, this is peak Will activities. This is the real me. I love living in Berlin so much. I am so happy to be there. However, I have just realized- is this on backwards? It is. Oh, right. I've learned I am not a city girl. If you guys have been around since I lived in the south of Germany, you know that I ate that era up. That was- uh, let me talk like a normal person. Holy shit, I'm like painfully Gen Z right now. We lived in a town, and we lived right in the city center, but it's quite a small town. And it's so intertwined with the natural environment. I could be in nature like this. Even the little island that we lived on. There was a river that split the town in two, and then there were the two sides of the town, and we lived on a little island in the middle of the river. <laughs> and I think that this was the perfect balance for me because I love the energy and the life of a city. I love the social aspect. I like versatility and like options of what to do with your day. I love going to a cafe and work. What? I love going to a cafe to work and meeting friends up for coffee, da da da. But like, I need the stillness and I need a natural environment. This is just so will. This is just so will of me to do. I have a lot of confusion with identity. I think by now I have earned the title perhaps of a third culture kid. I never wanted to call myself that because I thought that was very cringe and I literally wasn't. I lived in the States for 14 years and then like Germany for two and then the Netherlands for two and I was like okay ratio wise like I'm just American. But then I got European citizenship. I don't think I've shared that on here. I posted an Instagram story. And then I moved to another place in Germany, in Europe, long term. And I really feel disconnected from an American identity and American culture as a whole. I have a lot of negative feelings towards it, which I'm trying to work out which ones are valid and which ones are more biased. I also just have no beliefs. <laughs> like, aside from, like, being just a decent person and treating people with respect. I just like don't have beliefs, I think, because they've been, like any beliefs I held through having such an international group of friends and moving between different places um, and also just being exposed to the internet and, and different viewpoints and beliefs in different ages and maturity levels. <laughs> Every belief that I've ever held has been challenged in such a valid way that I'm like, I can't hold on to a belief. And I also can't deny, like, the existence of anything. Does that make sense? Like, how can I say that anything is definite? Or how can I believe that anything is, like, most likely the case? I just don't have that. And I think the combination of that and just living in a country that I connect with, but that's not my home country, and having friends from different places, and most of which are not my age, just, like, creates a big kind of question mark when it comes to identity. There's a really nice aspect to being surrounded by people who you spent so much of your life with and who have transcended these eras that have made me confused about things. I'm just really grateful to have a family that I can come back to and have a good time and just be reminded of like things that have always been consistent in me. Maybe I'm really picking apart this, but this is just a will activity and that is kind of just a gentle reminder to me that it's like I've been in a lot of different environments, I've been shaped by them, but there's some things that are just me and that feels really good. And that's why I fucking stayed another day, because I wouldn't have had this epiphany. Anyway, y'all gotta stop distracting me. I'm gonna eat my, my croissant. Pan au chocolat, is that the, yeah. So long, silent movies. The quiet dances on the screen.